Yo guys, what's going on? Rob with 421 Media House coming at you again with another deck review. This week we got the Cherry Casinos. I've got both the Black Classic V1s and the Tahoe Blue V3s with me today. Let's take a quick look at the tuck cases. It's a very simple, very elegant tuck case. It's a glossy finish. Um, the black ones, it's a matte black uh, printed on a gloss paper with the cherries are a gloss ink. The Tahoe Blues uh, is a me uh, metallic blue ink with the metallic blue cherries on it. It mirrors the back design on the cards. Very simple, very elegant, uh, very straight to the point deck design. The sides just say Cherry Casinos. The top tuck case flap has nothing on it. The side says Cherry Casino. The bottom of the cards have a little bit of information about the Pure Imagine Projects who produced these cards. Um, if we open the tuck case up, there's nothing on the flap, nothing on the interior of the case. It's very simple, very elegant, very to the point. All right, so let's crack one of these guys open and let's take a quick look and see what we get inside. Um, they are identical decks, the only difference is that the one is the Tahoe Blue and the other one is um, black. Um, so, this is the back design. It is a very unique, very elegant back design. There's not too much to it. Very simple. It is a two-way back design. The first two things that you're going to get in this deck is you're going to get a blank black back card, and then you're going to get a double backer, which is kind of nice. Uh, the Face cards are very standard. It says a leading ace of spades, um, but very, very standard face cards. One thing that is very nice about this deck, even the royalty is very standard looking. Um, I don't know if it's gonna show up very well in the video here, but the reds are actually like a metallic um, ink on the red. Even the cherries on the back have that same metallic ink on them, which is really cool. It kind of, it makes it just that little touch of elegance in the deck when it's such a simple deck and you really get a sense of simplicity and luxury out of this deck. Um, then we got the matching jokers, just say compliments of East Las Vegas on them. Again, that shiny metallic red ink on the jokers. If we crack open the Tahoe blue ones, we get the exact same thing on these guys. Uh, it's kind of nice to see it's kind of nice to see how simple, simple this deck is and that they kind of kept that simplicity all the way through the deck. Um, if we take a quick look at how these cards perform, they handle great. Um, it is a crushed B stock. Um, they are performance coated. Uh, they are embossed. They're traditionally cut. They're kind of everything that I personally like to see from a deck of cards. As soon as I opened these, uh, I was kind of like, I understand why they're such a popular deck for people. Um, they just feel really good. They fan great. They look really cool in flourishes. Um, it was a deck that I was a little bit hesitant on actually reviewing because like, it is such a popular deck. And it seems like it's one of those decks that almost everybody has at least a deck of trade casinos. I didn't want to get into a position where I was reviewing a deck that everybody already had, even though I have done some pretty common decks. I've done standard bicycles and stuff like that before. Uh, and when the V3s came out, these nice uh, blue... Um, blue Tahoe blue um, thin bordered uh, back design cards came out I decided you know what this is a good opportunity to sit down and actually review the cherry casinos so as I said they're very nice looking cards they handle great um, I really dig them um, they look they look cool when they're in motion um, Nice, nice deck of cards. Um, the value of these comes in at $10 US. So let's break this down quickly for you guys. Um, as I kind of mentioned, the, the whole theme of the deck from where I stand is that uh, simplicity uh, and elegance of the deck. So the tuck case, you get that with, um, the tuck case is held up well for me. I've used the blacks a little bit more than I've used the blues just because I didn't get the blues until like about midweek, whereas I got the blacks at the start of the week. Um, so the, the black cards, um, like I said, they've worn a little bit. You can see the tuck case is slightly more beat up, but not any more than most of my tuck cases after about a week of use. Uh, so as far as the tuck case goes, I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It's functional, but it's not the flashiest thing in the world. Um, it's very simple and elegant. Uh, as far as the design of the cards goes, I love it. I really enjoy that red metallic ink on them. Um, matching jokers is nice to see again a very simple elegant design standard faces they're very accessible playing card um, I've actually given away two decks of these 
Um, and both people that got the decks are not big into like cardistry or magic, and they just love that they're very simple and they can play regular card games with them. As far as the design goes, I'm gonna give them a six out of 10. They're not kind of that flashy cardistry deck that you see from a lot of stuff. Uh, as far as performance goes, I love these. This is my favorite kind of cut and stock and coding and everything. This is what I love to see from a deck of cards. It's very easy for me to understand why this is such a popular deck. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 as far as performance goes. And value is gonna be right at seven out of 10 at that $10 US mark as we've seen from quite a few decks. So for a total rating of 28 out of 40, all right, we'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.